Hello there, I am Richie Stormtrooper. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my little space on the net dedicated to Stormtrooper costumes. In this video we're going to be taking a closer look at the Stormtrooper armour from Shepparton Design Studios SDS or the original Stormtrooper.com. This is one very popular option for online purchases. When I first started out in the hobby, when I was looking for my first Stormtrooper armour a long, long time ago, in around 2010, this was one of the first addresses that I found on the internet, and I got very close to buying this armour. This maker makes some very bold claims about being the most authentic and um, using original moulds that were used for the movies. So we're going to be taking a closer look at those claims, and I will now, with nine years of experience, be sharing with you my honest and better informed opinion and telling you the truth about Shepparton Design Studios armour. Before we do get started, if you find the video interesting or helpful, please do like and subscribe to the channel. I will be back with regular content about Stormtrooper costumes. I will be posting regular videos, tutorials to help you build your own Stormtrooper armour. This video was originally part of a longer video about various different types of armour that are available. You can see the full video here by clicking this link. I just wanted to condense this information down into one specific video about SDS or the original Stormtrooper.com. That way, if you have less time or are searching specifically for information on just one maker, this is the place for you. Okay then, so we're going to start here with Shepparton Design Studios. You will find this under OriginalStormtrooper.com. This is where it starts for me in the name itself. Um, there's a whole load of information, for want of a better word here. A whole text about history, lots of curious videos and strange photos going, presumably pre um, proving um, the owner, Andrew Ainsworth's um, involvement with the making of the original um, Stormtrooper costumes. He definitely did have something to do with making the original props. This is the guy that was contracted because he had a vacuum forming shop to vacuum form the original armour and helmets. So they contracted a local guy who um, was making canoes and fish ponds for his main line of business and got him to vacuum form these suits. But anyway, we're only really looking at this with the, the history is not really what we're looking at. We're looking at what's on offer, his supposed original Stormtrooper armour and what you get for your money. As you can see, you're quickly at almost £1,300 for a full set of armour. And the claim is, our ready-to-wear armour is expertly made and the most authentic set available. Now that is a big claim. There is also a claim here online somewhere that says that he's using the original moulds. Here we go, cast from the original moulds molds used for A New Hope. So let's look if that's accurate then. Have a look at the armour itself. I think the best way to um, go about this is just by drawing pulling up some, some original references and having a look how they compare. Now, the first thing that um, strikes me with this, if I was just looking at this online, is this chess piece. Um, look at that alongside the original chess piece and you don't have to be an expert to notice that these lines are incredibly different. I mean, when you first look at these pictures, you, you're not looking at a, a comparison side by side. These look pretty pretty cool, right? I'm a, I got very close to buying this. But then I asked the opinion of others and they pointed out various things like this. The chest piece is quite obviously not mold, uh, molded from the same mold as was used on the original costume. Look at this side by side picture, it's absolutely clear. The belt is at a very very strange height and remember these things come pre-assembled so this is the way it's going to have to be worn without um, um, serious modification. That really, on all the original Stormtroopers, was a lot higher. This, you can see clearly from the way the legs are assembled, that there is a raised ridge and like a, an overlapping seam. Here, on the back of the thigh, on the originals, as you can uh, maybe not see, but Maybe you can't see it, but I can 
uh, assure you these were butt jointed there is no way to assemble the original armor with this kind of overlap they were butt jointed two pieces end on end with a separate cover strip over the join and that applies to all of these joints and here we, we clearly have overlaps and a raised ridge this cannot be made from the same molds there are just two there are just two striking differences immediately i also know um, because i have experience direct experience of this that these pieces are a lot smaller in size these calf pieces are very very short as you can also appreciate just on this mannequin even if it's a very uh, large um, mannequin there is a lot of evidence to suggest that one original mold still exists and that's the faceplate of the helmet here that seems to be um, very true to the originals however you can see that the back piece the helmet is made of two pieces there's this uh, dome piece here and the faceplate separately and then the, the ears are stuck on over the top um, it's mismatched it's it's also misassembled I've seen a lot of these um, helmets and you can see the way the brow lines up it's really strangely aligned it's very evident that these are not made from the original molds knowing about the history of replica costumes of armor I can tell you that there are some very strong signs that this has some other origins I'm not going to accuse anybody of recasting here but the best way to achieve this armor would be to cast from a TE trooper expert kit there are some very very clear signs that it shares a lot of detail these leg details here in the arches of the in the backs of the knee they are very reminiscent of TE lineage lineage uh, armor these overlapped seams the size of that seam this on an accurate suit of armor that should be a cover strip 20 millimeters around 20 millimeters in width and that is a whacking great that's at least twice as much that's very very inaccurate the assembly itself is wrong uh, certainly if you were um, assembling something that was genuinely made from the original molds your only option would be to butt joint something and put a cover strip on it there these overlapping seams do not exist on the original molds this I can categorically say it was not made with the original molds what's happening with the chest is an absolute mystery that is a really strange shape what you do notice straight away though is that this there's a lot of black showing between the shoulder blades and the chest um, the original chest was a lot, lot wider um, a lot more butch and masculine masculine looking this is really for me this is really not an option also details here it's very well um, formed it's good quality the plastics are good quality it's uh, robust and suitable for for wearing um, I'm not so sure I would recommend um, the type of strapping that it features I certainly know that people who have bought this armor and wanted to use it for joining the 501st Legion have had to carry out a lot of modifications mainly to the strapping inside because it just really it's inaccurate and it doesn't hold up to the rigors of trooping but the plastic itself is fine in general I just urge you to pull up screen grabs of the original movie when looking at any any potential purchase and compare side by side and ask yourself does that really look like the original is that claim that this is from the original molds right um, we're also going to have a look here on YouTube at we see the uh, strapping inside here's the guy getting dressed and you can see here he's got like a braces or suspenders in the USA system these there's a strap going over his shoulder that connects to the abdomen and holds that all up now that is very problematic on the originals I'll bring up a picture the chest and the abdomen and the back were joined together so that the the kidney piece here 
joined flush with the upper back part and there was no overlap. This system has no way of connecting the chest to the abdomen or the kidney plate to the back. It means the top can flap around and it also means it can overlap, giving you a completely incorrect look. Yeah. Obviously to solve the problem of the flapping around, there's, there's, a, there's a strap between the chest and the back, um, which you will see and is incorrect, simply incorrect. There's no reason for it on the originals. Look at that chest. That really is not a Stormtrooper chest. I'm sorry. Also, this is another problem. I've, I've seen this undersuit. This Look how baggy the undersuit is. This was a skin tight, like a body stocking, basically, on the originals. That's I've had one of these in my hands. It's terrible. It's a terrible, terrible option. So, a lot of problems with the Shepparton Design Studios Stormtrooper then, the supposed original, and for that amount of money you can do a lot better. Thank you very much for watching, I hope the video was helpful and informative. If so, please do like and subscribe to the channel. As I say, I will be back with more Stormtrooper content. There will be regular tutorials and important information on building your own Stormtrooper costume here. Until next time, take care.